Clara felt a fire being lit inside of her, thinking of the competition between her and Hannah. She thought about what she could do to improve her abilities. I just need to keep practicing and I'll get there. Claire raised a clenched fist, determined to get ahead in terms of crafting ability. Feeling a grumbling sensation in her stomach, Claire said, Now that we're done making the dagger and testing it out, I think my stomach is complaining that it's not getting enough attention from me. She patted her stomach tenderly, comforting it to say they'd be getting food soon. Snorting, Hannah laughed at Claire's expression. You're in that much of a hurry to pay my meal? Stomping away from Hannah, Claire frowned at the cocky expression on her friend's face. Just wait and see how I pass you by. Hannah chased after Claire, still laughing at the way Claire was behaving, like a child. Since they weren't too deep into the forest, they immediately left the shade of the trees and stepped out into the open field. The grass bent with the occasional breeze, with a horned rabbit hopping to its destination. It completely ignored the presence of the two girls. When Claire noticed the monster, she thought back to when they first came to the area. With their levels being so high, taking on the job of hunting the small monster wasn't necessary anymore. Instead, it was a pleasant sight as they walked to the nearby village. Approaching the village, there were other adventurers going about their work amongst the villagers. Compared to the town, Claire noticed how much of a difference the location was with how little traffic it had. Thinking of the town, there would have been wagons going down the main road filled with product waiting to be sold in the nearby cities. Several adventurers walking with the wagons making sure that it arrived at its destination safely. Being a village in an area meant for new adventurers, the ones walking around fulfilling their jobs had the presence of people that just recently became adventurers. Claire noticed the basic gear being worn and the way they walked without being aware of their surroundings in case of monsters. Claire thought about how much of a difference their last job had been, escorting the cart to the mines and what it did for her in keeping an eye out for what's going on. Just because we're in the village doesn't mean that monsters can't attack, Claire thought to herself. With how realistic the simulation is, I wouldn't be surprised if there were instances of monsters bursting into a guild building. They passed by the villagers and adventurers making their way into the guild. Upon entering, there were only a few people either sitting at tables or checking out the boards for any jobs. Claire could already see the portal, a few people entering and exiting the simulation. Their presence caused some of the adventurers to check them out, though they ended up looking away as though sensing the difference in levels. Seeing such behavior was something Claire wasn't used to experiencing and made her wonder what was tipping off the adventurers about their level. They had yet to make any major purchases, sticking with the gear that they'd been given. Even the weapons they used was the one given to them by Darlena. Entering the portal, they emerged to the room where all the other portals for their levels were located. Even though the time was late, there were plenty of people hanging out in the open space. It was a typical planning and socializing between people getting ready to take on jobs inside the simulation. No one paid them any mind, aside from the occasional look from a new adventurer. Most of the people in the room had the aura of a veteran, at least for their level. The two of them walked out of the room, not paying much attention after seeing their surroundings for so long. Their silence felt similar to people who are used to being around one another, as though they're old couples. Finally, we can get some food. Hannah grinned when she saw the stairs leading to the upper floors.